welcome back to Crafty Crochet Castle. In this video, I'm going to show you the pattern to crochet this bunny pumpkin. This is a beginner friendly tutorial and an easy pattern. I hope you would crochet these along with me. To crochet the bunny pumpkin, I'm using worsted weight yarn in two colors, orange and green, 5mm crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle stitch markers and some polyfill stuffing for the eyes you can use safety eyes or black yarn and needle and for the nose and mouth i'm using pink color yarn now let us get started working on a pumpkin so i'm taking my orange color yarn i'm gonna hold the yarn like this and do a magic circle to do a magic circle i'm going to wrap the yarn around two of my fingers like this and cross it over at the point where both the yarn meets so this end is the yarn coming from the skein and this one is the tail end so i'm gonna pinch it over here insert my hook inside this ring yarn over and bring a loop next i'm going to yarn over and bring a loop through this loop so there we have formed a magic circle if you notice there'll be a ring here and a tail we'll be working on the yarn that comes from the yarn end this ring is adjustable and now let's begin working on round one for round one i'll do eight single crochet inside this ring to do a single crochet i'm going to insert my hook inside this ring yarn over and bring a loop so now i have two loops on my hook i'll yarn over and bring a loop through both the loops at once this stitch is called a single crochet and i'm going to do seven more single crochet inside this ring so that we'll have a total of eight single crochet Once we've completed eight single crochet, if you notice, it doesn't look like a round anymore. So I'm gonna pull this tail so that we can close the opening. This magic circle is adjustable, so we can adjust it by pulling this tail. So now I have completed round one. If you notice, we have a little circle here, which is not joined. So for this pattern, we'll be working in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round. We'll be continuing our work on the stitches over here so to mark the end of each round i'm going to use a stitch marker you can use a stitch marker to mark the end of each round or the beginning i'm used to marking the end of each round so i'm going to attach it over here by using stitch markers we can skip the counting in our head and it's easier for us to complete each round now let us work on round two for round two i'll do two single crochet in every stitch around so this is my first stitch in this stitch i'll do two single crochet in the same stitch so i'm going to insert my hook in the stitch do a single crochet and i'm going to insert my hook in the same stitch do another single crochet so here i have two single crochet in my first stitch i'll repeat this for the remaining seven stitches this round two will have a total of 16 single crochet if you do not have a stitch marker, you can use a safety pin or you can use a piece of scrap yarn itself. I would recommend you to use another color yarn so it's easier for you to watch the end of each round. So here I am at the very last stitch over here. At this point, I'm going to remove my stitch marker and do two single crochet in the last stitch for this round two. So now I'm going to take the stitch marker and mark the end of my round two. So sometimes the magic circle will open up. All you have to do is pull the tail to close it and see there the end is closed again. So now let us work on round three. For round three, I'll do two single crochet in my next stitch. The stitch is over here and I'll do two single crochet in this stitch. And on the next stitch, I'll do one single crochet. So this is the repeat pattern for this round three. The pattern is two single crochet in the next stitch. 
followed by one single crochet in the next stitch this round will have a total of 24 single crochet Once again we are down to the last stitch which is marked by the stitch marker here. I'm going to work my last single crochet in this stitch. Now let us start working on round 4. For round 4 I'll do 2 single crochet in the next stitch over here. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next 2 stitches. So I'll do one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the other stitch. This is the repeat pattern for this entire round and I'm going to follow this until I reach the end of the stitch marker over here. The repeat pattern is two single crochet in the next stitch followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches. This round will have a total of 32 single crochet. Now let us work on round 5. For round 5, I'll do 2 single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next 3 stitches. This pattern is the repeat pattern for the round. The repeat pattern is 2 single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next 3 stitches. I'll do this until I reach the end of the stitch marker over there. And round 5 will have a total of 40 single crochet. For round 6, I'll do 2 single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next 
followed by one single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four so this pattern is the repeat pattern for the round the repeat pattern is two single crochet in the next stitch followed by one single crochet in the next four stitches until I meet the stitch marker over there and this round will have a total of 48 single crochet I'll meet you once when I complete this entire round at this point I would recommend you to pause the video complete this entire round with a repeat pattern and then meet me after you're done with this round this is how the project looks after completing round six now let's work on the next rounds for the next eight rounds that is from round seven to round 14 i'll be following a repeat pattern the pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around so basically you have to do one single crochet in every stitch for next eight rounds each round will have a total of 48 single crochet and i'll meet you once when i complete the round after completing 14 rounds a pumpkin looks like this now let's work on round 15 for round 15 i'll start off with a single crochet decrease or single crochet two together to do a single crochet decrease i'm gonna insert my hook in the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop instead of finishing this single crochet i'm gonna insert my hook in the next stitch yarn over and pull up a loop so now i'll have three loops on my hook work across two stitches on the bottom next i'm gonna yarn over pull through all three loops at once so there we have completed it as one stitch but we have taken two stitches on the bottom this stitch is called as a single crochet decrease or single crochet two together next I'll do one single crochet in the next four stitches This pattern is the repeat pattern for the round. The repeat pattern is single crochet two together followed by one single crochet in the next four stitches. This round will have a total of 40 single crochet. So I would recommend you to pause this video, complete this round and then I'll meet you at the beginning of round 16 now let's work on round 16 for round 16 i'll start off with a single crochet decrease first followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches this pattern is the repeat pattern for the round the repeat pattern is single crochet decrease followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches this round will have a total of 32 single crochet. I'll meet you once when I complete this pattern for this entire round. For round 17, I'll start off with a single crochet decrease first. Followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches. This is the repeat pattern for the round and this round will have a total of 24 stitches. I'll meet you once when I complete this round. This is how a pumpkin looks after completing round 17. You would notice it begins to close up. Now let's work on round 18. For round 18, I'll do a single crochet decrease first, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. This round will have a total of 16 stitches. At the end of round 18, I'm gonna pause the project over here and attach eyes, nose and mouth for a pumpkin bunny. For that, I'm taking a black yarn and yarn needle. You can use safety eyes as well and I'm going to embroider the eyes.
next I'm taking a pink color yarn and needle and I'm going to embroider the nose below the eyes. Once you have embroidered the nose, make sure to embroider the mouth below that to complete our bunny. After embroidering the face details, let's stuff this pumpkin with some polyfill stuffing. Now let's work on round 19. For round 19, I'll do single crochet decrease 8 times. This round will have a total of 8 stitches. Now let's work on the last round for the pumpkin which is round 20. In this round I'll do single crochet decrease 4 times. After completing this round I'm going to join in the next stitch with a slip stitch and finish off over here leaving a long tail make sure the tail is long enough because we'll be using this tail to form the shape of our pumpkin to finish it off i'm gonna trim the tail over here next i'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop i'm gonna pull the tail all the way through in it and then tighten this up the next step is to form the shape of it for that i'm threading the long tail in a yarn needle bring this yarn around our pumpkin like this if you notice we have some bumps on the top and the bottom of the pumpkin this is where we did the decrease and this is where we did the increase so you can use that as a guide and bring the yarn in the center of these two bumps over there and i'm going to insert my needle between round two and round three and pull the needle in the center of the pumpkin over here so now don't leave it too loose just pull it tight so that you can form the shape of the pumpkin like this and secure on the top over here with a knot so by making it tight we have formed a nice bump over here now I'm going to repeat this few more times for this pumpkin I'm not going to do it on top of the nose I'm just going to do it around the pumpkin do not worry about the knots these will be covered up by the stems so once when we have formed all of the shapes i'm choosing to have five sections here you can weave in the tail to weave in the tail i'm gonna insert my needle next to the yarn and i'm gonna pull it out in a random spot so there we have formed our pumpkin for a pumpkin bunny now let us work on the stem for that I'm starting with my green yarn I'll do a magic circle first followed by seven single crochet inside this ring this is my round one for the pattern of the stem also we'll be working in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round unless I mention it For the next three rounds that is from round two to round four i'll be following the same pattern 
The pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around. Each round will have a total of 7 single crochet. Now let's work on round 5. For round 5, I'll be working on the front loops only. This is the front loop only for the round. Normally, we'll be working on both the loops. But for this entire round, we'll be working on the front loops only. So on my first stitch, I'll do 2 single crochet in the same stitch. In my next stitch, I'll do 1 single crochet. I'll do 2 single crochet in my next stitch. 1 single crochet in my next stitch, 2 single crochet in my next stitch, 1 single crochet in the next 2 stitches. After completing this round, I'm going to join at the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch and finish off over here leaving a long tail. So there we have completed the stem for the pumpkin. Now let us work on the ears. For that I'm taking my orange yarn. I'll start off with a magic circle followed by 4 single crochet inside this ring. This is my round one. For the pattern of the ears also we'll be working in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round unless I mention it. Now let's work on round two. For round two I'll do 2 single crochet in my next stitch. Followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. I'll repeat this pattern one more time for this round. And this round will have a total of six single crochet. At the end of this round, I'm going to use a stitch marker to mark the end of this round. For round three, I'll do two single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches. I'll repeat this pattern one more time for this round. And this round will have a total of eight single crochet. For round four, I'll do two single crochet in my next stitch. Followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches. I'll repeat this pattern one more time for this round and this round will have a total of 10 single crochet. For round 5, I'll do 2 single crochet in my next stitch followed by 1 single crochet in the next 4 stitches. I'll repeat this pattern one more time for this round and this round will have a total of 12 single crochet. Now let's work on round 6. For round 6, I'll do 2 single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next stitch. I'll repeat this pattern for this entire round. This round will have a total of 18 single crochet.
for the next six rounds that is from round 7 to round 12 I'll follow the same pattern the pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around each round will have a total of 18 single crochet At this time you can pause the video and continue working on the rows and I'll meet you at the end of round 12. At the end of 12 rounds a project looks like this. Now let us work on round 13. For round 13 I'll start off with a single crochet decrease first. Followed by one single crochet in the next 7 stitches. I'll repeat the pattern one more time for the round. The pattern is single crochet decrease followed by a single crochet in the next 7 stitches. This round will have a total of 16 stitches. At the end of round 13, I'll join with a slip stitch and finish off over here leaving a long tail. Now we have completed one year. We do not have to stuff this year. Rather just fold it in half. I'm going to keep the finished side in one side so fold it in half and stretch it out and you can add some shape to the ear so make sure to crochet one more ear using the same pattern now let us see how to assemble all these pieces to form our pumpkin bunny first i'm going to take the stem and i'm going to thread the long tail in a yarn needle and i'm going to position the stem in the center of the pumpkin over here make sure to keep the last round of the stem flat so we can form the nice shape to the pumpkin position it in place and sew this up i'm gonna sew along the outside over here Let us see how to assemble the ears. Before that, I'm going to close the opening of the ears. So I'm going to pinch the ear flat like this and make sure to keep the finished end in one corner and sew the opening close. I'm going to use the back loops of both the layers to do this. Once we have closed the opening of the ear, I'm going to form the shape so that it resembles a bunny ear. So I'm going to fold this in half like this and I'm going to sew this side up. And secure this with a knot. Next, I'm going to place the ear on top of the bun pumpkin like this and sew this up. I'm going to repeat the same for the other ear and I'm going to attach it on this side of the pumpkin. I'll meet you once when I attach the ears. After weaving in the ends, our pumpkin bunny looks like this. I hope you would crochet this along with me. Please show your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.